So after rooting ourselves down for the last 10 months, we're finally full-time bus living again, and Schooly UP was our first official stop back on the road again. There were close to 150 converted rigs at this gathering, and although we didn't take many pictures or videos, we made amazing friendships throughout the week and felt truly accepted into the tiny home and school bus community. up meeting some amazing friends and we decided that we all wanted to travel the UP together so we started a bus van caravan trip. Our first stop was to Kwamenon Falls and it was absolutely beautiful. I hadn't seen this since I was a kid. So we explored the area for a little bit and did some hikes and then of course we had to check out the Kwamenon Falls Brewery. From there, we headed to Paradise and Whitefish Point. official jump in Lake Superior and although the water was freezing we spent a lot of time in the water because we were camped just steps from the beach. caravan <laughs> is posted up in a grocery store right now um, in Munising because we're doing a pictured rocks tour tonight on a boat sunset cruise we're really excited but we were having a hard time finding parking or camping nearby and none of us like to drive at night and it's gonna be nightfall by the time we get done with our cruise so we we're trying to look for other options so just an idea for all of those trying to find just a place to park for the night we just went inside the grocery store and asked a manager, explained our situation, said we're traveling through for the night, and they said it would be no problem to park, um, just park toward the street. So we're super happy. It never hurts to ask. Found a great parking spot for the night. ever visit Munising and Pictured Rocks, you have to do the sunset cruise because the lighting and colors on the rocks were just mind-blowing. Next up on our way to Marquette, we of course had to stop and pull over at a beautiful little roadside park for the day and just take some time and do some housekeeping, you know, cleaning and organizing of the buses. Once we were in Mark 
got to check out the beautiful Presque Isle and the famous Black Rocks cliff diving. Of course, Ron jumped off from the highest point, but I was a little too scared, so he jumped with me closer to the water. We also got to visit some great friends while we were in Marquette, check out some of the local watering holes, and of course, more of the beautiful nature and hiking around the area. Next up was Copper Harbor, where we set up base camp at a local campground and just hung out for a week, did some hikes, and got to explore the beautiful area around us. We had a great time at camp doing family breakfasts, dinners, hanging out and playing games, and making homemade thimbleberry margaritas. Although we had already been swimming in Lake Superior, the water up at Copper Harbor was much colder than the water at Whitefish Point and it took quite a bit to actually be able to get in and go under the water. we had to do a tour of the Quincy Copper Mine and this was absolutely amazing. It was the coolest thing ever. Highly recommended if you're up in Copper Harbor. Instead of seeing a lake, we are just in the clouds. Porcupine Mountains. It was absolutely gorgeous here and to be able to walk alongside all of the waterfalls and see everything carved into the rock was just gorgeous. Michigan's Upper Peninsula, you have to stop by Kichita Kippi, which is Michigan's largest freshwater spring and some of the bluest water that you will ever see. On our way back out of the UP, of course we had to stop at the Mist Reef spot and each of us had to try some of the challenges inside of this mystery house. Last but not least, we finished off the UP right with some breakfast pasties. Thanks for watching and we're on to our next state and our next adventure.